everybody, Chris Grandy, chrisgrandy.com, playingwithchris.com. I was at a uh, presentation today with someone who helps people um, with stress, and she had they have she has stress techniques and coping techniques, etc. And there weren't a ton of people there; it was like five people. And it's sponsored by um, a what's called a, a venture pad, which is a, a a business in San Rafael, California. They sort of like an incubator slash um, open office workspace, membership workspace for for small businesses and startups. And what surprised me about both of those meetings is that there's only five people in the meeting, and also from VenturePad, the place isn't nearly as busy as you think it would be. I mean, we are directly next to San Francisco. We're in Marin County, a wealthy county with a population of, I don't know, six or 700,000 people or something or more. I don't know. And where are all the entrepreneurs? You know, they have, the, they have these resources and things going on, and, and people aren't, I just didn't see a lot of people. And it made me think that, you know, there's a bit of a trend of people not asking for help these days, you know, or, uh, you know, they'll ask for help, but, you know, maybe as a last resort after they've searched online for everything, et cetera. And it's a little bit troubling, you know, if, if, if from top to bottom, people are not collaborating or getting the help they need. And I don't mean help like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm an alcoholic, I need help. I mean, it's, it's, it's optimizing help, you know, I want to do the best. You know, I can I can bench press 300 pounds, but I want to be able to bench press 500. I can run, you know, um, a four and a half minute 40 sprint, or I can run, uh, you know, a, a 11 second 100 meter dash. I'd like to, you know, get that lower. And just that type of thing, the excellence thing. You know, so few people, maybe athletes are the only one that do it um, consistently. Is get out there and get get um, get coaching, get help. I mentioned in a previous video that. Um, I'm working with someone to help me with uh, the way I process. I'm a very internal person. So in other words, either under stress or if I'm aggravated or not feeling 100% or not motivated, my tendency is to retreat and go, I don't know, read a book. Like, like my ideal retreat would be I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble or something and read a book or whatever or, or just go someplace and be by myself. And that's how I cope with stuff or that's how I process things. And that is not what you want to be doing when you work with people, you know. So I have clients I serve and I have um, people I work with and other professionals I work in collaboration with. And I need to be talking to these people. And so I've made a concerted effort on, on not being withdrawn and holding in, but working more on, on, um, on reaching out and connecting. And so that's me. So... I would just challenge all of you reading this video or what are things that you're doing that you could be getting some coaching on so you can optimize again, not talking about you have a problem and you need to, you need help. I'm talking about optimizing what you're doing so that you could be even better than you are, that you can take the tools that you have and the skills you have to even better. So what are you doing or what could you be doing to optimize your situation? Get back to me if you decided to do something or if you're in if you've thought about it or you already have started doing something to optimize, you made a change, you're using some coaching. I'd love to hear your stories. Um, for now though, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna try out some tennis with the kids, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks again for watching. If you like the video, click like and subscribe.